What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Rankers World Channel. Today, I want to show you guys a meal that I cooked for my wife before she hit the road. This is a nice, quick, simple meal, nothing too extravagant. I'm not a chef, but cooking is something I love to do. Also, as you see, I'm by myself. Hold on, hold on. She has nothing to do with this. You're video. not by yourself, though. I am by myself. This is me today. This is my channel. But I'm recording, so don't act like you know. Don't worry about it. Dang. So, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. So, stay tuned. I'm cutting up the, uh, the sausage. And this right here is turkey sausage, by the way. One thing about us, um... A few years ago, we was very overweight. I was about 330 pounds. Right now, I'm sitting at about 240. My lowest was 200 pounds. But um, one of the things we cut back was red meat. There's nothing wrong with red meat, in my opinion. It's just something I feel like it took a while to digest in my stomach. So I started, um, I started eating nothing but turkey, chicken, baked turkey, baked chicken turkey, ground turkey, and no ground beef. And I cut back some of the pork. I'm not going to say I obsolete eat pork all the way. And as you see, this meal, I don't, I don't even have a name for it, but the meat that's involved with it, which is also the protein, the turkey sausage and shrimp. You can add chicken to it if you want to. And normally with this meal, I, um, I add rice to it. But I'm trying to cut back on my um, carbs. So I told him I can't keep doing the rice. But I can do the sausages and the, uh, what's the name of it? She the sausages and the shrimp. So she said she wanted a meal with uh, no rice. So I said, I can do the same thing. And you just not eat the rice. It would just be vegetables and meat. Which is actually very good. It's not, it's healthy in a way. And it's not the most healthy. The reason why I say that is. Because I do cook, cook it with some oil and stuff like that. And I do put uh, brown sugar in it. That's that's a key ingredient to it, brown sugar. And I put, uh, I put uh, soy sauce in it. So this will be my first time making a meal without, uh, without rice. But this is one of the meals that he cooked for me and I haven't got tired of yet. Usually I get tired of a meal with like a wheat baby. <laughs> you can try something real quick. I mean, it, it's very annoying. I be trying to, you know what I'm saying, cook something simple for her. Sometimes I'll switch it up on her. A few times she had chicken pot pie with her and stuff like that. But this meal right here, for some reason, she just loves it. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I guess because me and her, we we are uh, very big Japanese eaters. I love Japanese food. I promise you, I can, dad, um, I can eat that almost every day. That and uh, Mexican food. And it almost tastes just like Japanese food without the fried rice. But so. it's very good. I love it, love it, love it. And he loves making sure I eat good over the road. And cooking is something that I love to do. I'm not a chef. As you see, if I was a chef, I'd be a bitch chop this thing real fast. Um, it, would, it would never be something that I would do for money or something I would try to try to dang on open up a restaurant, up a restaurant <laughs> like that because then I feel like they'll take the love out of it. Um, so as you see right now, once again, I'm just cutting up the turkey sausage. So I'm his number one customer. <laughs> yeah, she's my guinea pig. If I cook something new, she's going to be the first to taste it. And he used, well, you used our friends and stuff as your guinea pigs. Well, sometimes, but normally if I cook something for my friend, you already have had it. That way you can uh, tell him that it's really good. So, yeah, don't let him lie to y'all. He be he be cooking for people. People love his food. Like when we have big gatherings, he'll try something different. So don't let him lie to y'all. So come here. Come here a little closer. So right now I'm cutting the bell pepper, which I got a few of them cut up already. And this is how I cut them. Cut them long ways. Everything's already rinsed off and washed. So to make sure you buy your vegetables, you rinse them off. 
depends on how big they are, how long they are. Sometimes I, I cut them again like that. I just throw them in there like that. And I always cut the end of it like that. That way I can get that good, that good uh, straight bell pepper. Make sure you cut the membrane off. The membrane is that little piece right there. Why you cut that off? I don't know why. Actually, it's just something that I seen. But it's something that you don't eat on the bell pepper. It sounds nasty. Do you want to eat a membrane? Yeah. Pepper, pepper to me, baby. Right. I'll take this to me. You getting better at your cutting. This all right. It ain't nothing special. See how I cut that end down like that? Throw that to the side. And y'all, he loves to watch cooking videos. Uh, Even uh, this past year, Thanksgiving was my second time I, I cooked Thanksgiving meal. And the year before that was my first time ever doing it by myself and cooking for the family. Um, when I did that meal, I felt very accomplished. I was very proud of myself because uh, me coming up, it was always my grandmother and the, the big mom was cooking a meal for everybody and everybody would come over and join the family and eat. So to me, that felt good that I was able to cook a big meal by myself. Also with the help of my wife, um, but she she was just there for more support, basically. <laughs> and ready to eat. Watching me <laughs> and ready to eat. <laughs> now I do know how to cook, y'all. It's just that he loves to cook, so I just let him go do what he loves to do. But I, I do know how to cook just as good as he do. Sometimes I get the moments I don't feel like doing that. And, uh... She, uh, she, uh, I do catch the hat too. She asked, man, you cook? No, I ain't cooking today. Why don't you cook something? You done been here all day you guys don't cook. <laughs> you should already have something ready. I get like that. So I just be messing. Because sometimes I, do, I don't feel like doing that. Everybody be looking for me to cook. I pop them dag on. I pop a piece in the oven and call it a day. But the boys love daddy cooking. Also, um, for you truck drivers out there, this is something you can put in your, uh, if you had a time, this is something you can put in your, your instant pot maker and be cooking while you're going down the road. And also, I want to show you guys this. This is not the rice that I use for this meal, but the reason why I want to show you guys this Uncle Ben's rice, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know about it, is this only $1.50 to $1.70. You can just pop this right in the microwave and it's ready in 90 seconds and you got you some rice. And you can get your protein, uh, eat some chicken, whatever meat you want to use. Put that stuff together, you got your meal. Now, how many people do this one thing serve? Um, it says it's got two uh, two servings per container. So, so that's two servings. So that and and I eat like that too. Like that'll last me two meals. So I'll eat that. Like if he was to do my my meal for the week. I break my food down like that too. So this would actually, I eat one for dinner one day and the next day I'll probably eat it for lunch. Or I might do one for dinner one night and one for dinner the next night. So those Uncle Ben rice things, ain't they very good? Uh, they got a lot of different flavors to them. But I normally just stick with this medley rice. No, this is long grain well. I normally stick with this and I normally stick with the jasmine rice. I love jasmine rice. If you're gonna eat a white rice, I prefer jasmine or balsamic. Um, it's a lot better for you. It's not as much starch as white rice. And, um, those are for you healthy people. And I promise you, some of you truck drivers, if you can just stick with this rice and a good, good lean protein and stay out the truck stops, food, you won't have any problem with either maintaining or losing weight. Cause I rarely ever eat in the truck stop. Every now and then I might what do a Friday, right, baby? If I'm out. Yep. Also, uh, every now and then. If you don't want to get these, I know some of our some truck drivers have um, rice cookers. They have it in their truck. You can put your rice in there, let it cook while you're going down the road. When you get to that that destination or that truck stop, your rice will be ready for you. And with the rice cooker, you can also steam your vegetables. So by the time you stop, you ain't gotta go spend no money buying the uh, truck stop food. I'm not gonna say nasty truck stop food because 
Some of it is good, but it's bad for you. It has a lot of sodium, and it's been sitting there all day, and it's just something that it don't really fill you up. It fill you up for a couple seconds, then you be hungry again. That's when the weight gain come in there. And you know what else it did to me? It, it tears my stomach up. Joy yeah. knows. Mess your stomach up. Joy knows it tears my stomach up when I start eating. And you go into the bathroom a lot. So if you ever catch yourself going to the bathroom a lot and your, I'm going to say bowels, if they not a good consistency, then you're eating bad food. Mm -hmm. Making your stomach hurt. So. So that's one of the reasons why he makes sure I eat good because I have. Uh, he like to make sure my digestive system is real good too, because my stomach get torn very easily by eating crazy food. So he just try to make sure I keep it consistent. Cause as soon as I get off track, I'll heck break Stop things. Stomach torn. <laughs> and the words of pH, she be boo boo skittle everywhere. <laughs> Baby, we ain't gonna talk about my boo boo skittle. <laughs> so right now, uh, I got a, um, a yellow onion. I'm cutting up for those for those who don't know the yellow onion is very sweet they had yellow onions and they also had sweet onion but the yellow onion is a little bit more sweeter than the sweet onion that's weird you would think the sweet onion is more sweeter but it's not so i cut up the onions just throw it all in there mm, that's gonna be good y'all i love this stuff i don't know why and y'all big about not eating the same thing twice. Like, if we go to a restaurant, mm -mm, we ain't going to go there for a while because I don't like to eat the same thing. <laughs> I, uh, I eat the same thing over and over again. The reason why, because I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to treat me right. I know what I'm getting. I hate going to a restaurant and you're paying for something different. And they come out with this. I'm a, as you see, I'm a big guy. I'm not, I'm not small. So I would hate to go to a restaurant and you pay for something. Yeah, you do, baby. No, nah, I ain't doing none of that. I would hate to go to a restaurant and I pay for something and they come out with this this plate and this little bit of food. No, nah. I like to stick to my restaurants that give me my money's worth. I like my, that's why I go to the same places. I hate to have to go to a restaurant and walk up out of there because they don't give me this little plate of food. I got all my, uh, come in a little closer. I got all my uh, vegetables and sausages cut up. So what I'm gonna do now, bring this over here. I'm going to preheat my pans. So those, these are real stainless steel pans. So you must preheat them, preheat them. And y'all, Joey wanted a new stove. He did not. Um, I want a gas stove. Dude. Yeah, when we bought this house, he wanted a gas stove. <laughs> So we was gonna do everything in our power to get gas line put for the stove, but we didn't end up doing it. So I made sure I got him this. Um, this used to be a, what this used to be a light right here, honey? Yeah. It used to be a light, like a, a, a ugly shiny little light looking thing. We got that taken down and I bought him this pot rack and I bought him, and then we went and bought him the um, stainless steel pots to go over it. So come over for a second. Yes, daddy. <clears throat> so why these pans are preheating? These are some of the ingredients that I use. This right here is a very key ingredient. It's called sesame seed oil. This will give you that Japanese flavor if you cook with this. And where you buy that? You get it at Walmart in the Asian section. Soy sauce. This right here, instead of cooking with a whole bunch of oil and grease, it's canola oil. As you see, it's zero calories. So as my when my pans preheat, I, I, cut, I coat the pan. You know what I'm saying, pepper. I'm not gonna use salt in this because soy sauce, soy sauce has a lot of sodium as it is. You don't wanna make this dish too salty, which I did one time before. <laughs> I was about to say, tell him, baby. An accident. Um, so what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna pour a little bit of this sesame seed oil on this right here. Just shake it up a little bit. And over here, I have my shrimp already washed. I have them on this paper towel, letting all the moisture get out of them. So when I start to cook them on this pan right here, it won't be a lot of water. That way you get all the flavor from your shrimp and it won't be cooking in water. And it's still gonna be a little moisture, but not a lot. And y'all, he uses a lot of my, a lot of our paper towels. <laughs> I do, I don't, which I don't mind paying for. 
Um, also, the, the point is about preheating your pan. If y'all don't know, a real pay for it, when you pay for it, uh, a real set of pots and pans, when you preheat, it expands the pan and it makes it it makes it flat and level. If you just go in there, turn it on, and start throwing your stuff in there, your food not gonna cook right and it's gonna take longer. That's the point of preheat. Tell them, baby, you you chef our dick daddy. I see you, Joey. So just put your hand down here. And I don't cook the shrimp with the meat. I cook the shrimp by itself. I let it cook. And then I, uh, I said cook the shrimp with the meat. Shrimp is meat. I cook the shrimp by itself. And I cook the vegetables and sausages by itself. Now, if I had the rice, which I cook in my rice cooker, it'd already be ready in this big tub waiting for everything over here to be done. Um, and now we bought him, uh, I bought him a, I bought him a rice cooker off Amazon for like $21 and y'all, he used that rice cooker like it's gold. Like, <laughs> he love his rice cooker. <laughs> but why do you like it though? When you do your meal prep. I like the rice cooker because it makes your rice perfect. Very easy to clean up. You just put it in there, set it, and you just forget about it. You ain't got to sit there and keep watching it. As you put rice on the uh, stove top, you got to watch it a lot. Like, you really messed it up. And you putting that for the shrimp? Yep. Oh, okay. All right, so here it goes. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more sesame oil in here. As you see, it's out. I always got a backup plan. See, when you preheat the pan right, you put the food in there, you get that good sizzle. You put the food in there, it don't make no noises, you really let it preheat good enough. So I'm going to let this cook down a little bit, and then I'm going to throw the soy sauce in there. And when I throw the soy sauce in there, I also put this brown sugar, a little bit of brown sugar in there, the soy sauce, and let it cook up, and it creates a sauce. And that sauce is what goes on top of the rice and the shrimp, and it all soaks up together. And then, this is when this meal becomes unhealthy. With, uh, brown, with the brown sugar and the yum yum sauce. If y'all know that shrimp sauce, the little, little orange sauce you get at a Japanese restaurant. So that's what makes that meal unhealthy. So to keep it on the healthy side, don't put none of that on there. Just eat it like it is. Or portion it down. Or yeah, portion it down. Now me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this soy sauce in here. Don't be scared to pour it, just pour it in there. Cause that's gonna be your base of your sauce and that taste that you need. You see, I got my shrimp over here cooking. So what I'm gonna do is cook my shrimp down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add it in here with the rest of the food. Now, how did you make it too salty that one time? What did you do? Oh. Um, I added salt. And honey, when I said it was salty, and I, I said, Joey, I said, baby, that, I said, that food, baby, oh, no, 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 it was too salty. You ain't gonna talk about my food. I didn't say that. Yeah. I don't think I said that. But to be honest with you, what's crazy is, I always taste test my food when I'm, when I'm done cooking it. And at that moment, it went salty. So after it set, it must have got more salty. So then he gonna say, oh, well, I taste test my food. I said, how you get mad at me because I said the food was too salty? He a trip, y'all. He did not like, I bet he, I bet he didn't have it salty no dog on more because I wasn't going to eat it. So now what I'm adding in here <laughs> is uh, some brown sugar. Put some of your brown sugar. Nobody wants to hear your singing. Baby. Like I told you, this is my singing. Just go. This just, is my singing. Just go. See, I always trying to just butt in somebody's stuff. Hold that camera right. Don't get cute on this thing. <laughs> so I'm adding this brown sugar. This right here gives it that nice sweet, sweet flavor. Is it a certain yeah. amount or you just, just pour it in the I don't measure. Just to keep it real with y'all. When I'm cooking, I don't measure. Sometimes I do. Let me stop lying. 
But for the most part, I don't. I just play it by eye. Uh oh, technical difficulty. That look good. I'm ready to eat already. You see how that uh, the onion starting to caramelize and soak in that soy sauce and that brown sugar? Now you used some Chef Bar D words. No, I ain't no chef. <laughs> but you see that color right here? Another tip: when you're making this this dish, you can't cook it for too long. It'll start to smell burnt. Which it won't be burnt, but you get that smell. You don't want that smell. As you see my shrimp over here cooking. I already added my season to the shrimp. I don't add too much season to the shrimp. A little bit of, little bit of pepper, and I use this uh, Creole seasoning for the day. Sometimes I use a little something different. You don't never use Obey? I do use Obey sometimes, but I'm using it today. So the key to this is, you don't have to add too much flavor to the shrimp because when you put it over here and let it cook, it's gonna soak in that flavor and it's gonna taste like that. Cause you're not eating the shrimp by itself. Now if you're eating the shrimp by itself, then I'll flavor it on up, add some seasoning to it, some butter. Like I said, you don't wanna put too much ingredients in it. You want it to taste a certain way. So right now you can turn your heat down on the stove. Like I said, this meal right here lasts you a few days. It lasts me about a week. Uh, it lasts me, if I go out of the road on Tuesday, it lasts me to at least Friday. And now I'll be back Saturday. So that's what, well, I say that's a week. <laughs> that so a full week. It, I know that in a full, days. it lasts a few days, but that's my full work week. Cause I work like Tuesday through uh, uh, Saturday. And then I go back out on Sunday and Monday and I do my little local runs Sunday and Monday. So it just depends, but it lasts me a pretty little pin. I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar, just to be on the safe side. I know somebody gonna say, that's too much brown sugar, but you know what? This is my cooking, and it's good. And my wife loves it, just and take, right. Just take my word for it. And if it's too sweet, I just, mm -mm. I don't like real, real sweet food. Food. Now I eat sweet things. You notice how the person that ain't cooking has the most say what she don't like. Hold up. You hear that, right? Y'all hear that, you too. That's why you gotta be careful cooking for her. She won't cook, <laughs> she gonna cook this food, but she had the most say about it. <laughs> but I gotta eat it, baby. You would eat this food and be happy with it. I do, I just don't eat it if it's too sweet. But he, but he make it just right. I'm very eager to see how it's gonna taste without the rice. I, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I wouldn't do this without rice. But, just for her sake, she want to try it without the rice, I'm going to let her do that. What you looking for now? Getting this right here, just want to put it in. Who put this right? This is not little more white. I um, didn't do that, it must have fell in there. You did that. No, I didn't. So this is the dish I'm gonna put it in after it's done. See, normally I already had the rice in there, just laying in there. And then I mix that together, and I throw it on top of the rice, mix it up, and it's done. Now, um, tell him we don't, uh, we don't put it, like after he get done cooking, he don't put the hot food right in the refrigerator because it's gained bacteria like that. So he let it sit out for a few, like an hour. What did, how long you kind of let it sit out? I let it sit out to cool down. So yeah, it could gain bacteria if you put it in the refrigerator. When you're cooking your top. shrimp, you don't have to cook it all the way before you put it in here, because when you put it here, it's gonna finish cooking. And a rule of thumb to let you know your shrimp is done when it curl up like that, it's done. But I'm gonna put it in here, add it to this. Turn it on. Now, the key is let this shrimp soak in the sauce so it can get that flavor. So say that one more time. Usually you already have the, the white rice in there. Yeah, usually I'll have the uh, rice in here. Whatever rice you want to use, that's on you. Now it's not fried rice. 
It almost is very similar. It tastes like it's a Japanese dish. That's exactly what it tastes like to give y'all an idea. And the rice is not fried in oil, just regular white rice, no butter, no salt and pepper. You don't need nothing. Just put it in there, pour this on top, and, and bam. <laughs> Come a little closer. As you guys see, see how that's looking? The shrimp done soaked up all the sauce and the flavor. It's actually done right now. So I can turn this down and just let, let the rest of the heat just cook. All I'll do is pour this in here. You see it? You gonna leave all that juice in there? Yeah. See all that juice is in there because normally if you would have the rice, it soaks it up. I don't think she's gonna eat this without rice, y'all. Be honest with you. She might taste a little bit. Walk over with I only have a name for this. Um I don't. But I hope y'all enjoying this. Like I told y'all in some of the previous videos, our channel is not just about trucking. We'll try to tie in a little bit of truck related stuff, but at the end of the day, our channel is, is, is entertainment. It's family, relationship, love, all that. So now we're about to enjoy this food. Well, she is, because I'm not eating this. I don't want any right now. That's all, baby. That's all you want? Mm hmm You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So y'all now I'm about to try it out. I know it's gonna be good. I always love his cooking. And I love the I love peppers and onions. I love all of that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, real good. And like I said, like I said, or well, like he said, I'm gonna eat it without rice. So I can cut back on the um, carbs. But my truck and me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video and would like to see more, comment below, hit like and subscribe, and hit the bell.